JD, come in as well, because you look at the energy sector. Talk to us about the impact in that sector specifically. Well, it has a direct uh, link, uh, Julie, to what Richard was talking about here, right? Because fewer people are flying, so the demand for uh, jet fuel is way down. Uh, trucks are not moving at the pace that they were do, uh, doing before. Uh, the International Road Transport Association was saying that the trucking industry itself is losing $700 billion in lost revenues this year. Uh, that means less demand for fuel. So this is a, a shock to the system. At its worst point, when we went negative in terms of uh, the U.S. benchmark back in April, uh, we saw a drop of demand for energy of 30 percent, particularly for oil and gas. But year on year, we're looking at a drop of nearly 10 percent. That's three times the level we saw during the global financial crisis. It's in a league of its own. And it came at a time when we had a perfect storm kind of brewing in the energy industry, if you will, Julia, in the energy transition, right? We're starting the transition to renewables, so wind, solar, hydrogen as well. And then you had the pandemic, if you will, layered on top of it. Quick show of hands. Who's shopping on Amazon has exploded <coughs> this year? But, Julia... Well, I have to tell you one little anecdote about that, Julia. It's when I talk to my daughters uh, that are 18 and 15, the younger one says, you know, I said, what did you do today and how are you doing your Christmas uh, shopping? She says, oh, I'm shopping with Jeff, right? So Gen Z says just Jeff. It's not Amazon. It's not Jeff Bezos. It's Jeff. I just reached out to Jeff. I try not to overdo it, but it's very convenient. It's easy. He has what I need. <coughs>